So what's good, buddy? Man, everything's good. So, wait, wait. First off, before we start, um, my daughter's about to leave. I wanted to bring. Good baby. To, uh, come here, come on. Come here, baby. So I just wanted to say this. For the New Year's, my dreams have come true. I got to spend it with my family, and mm. at the end of the day, today was like the Super Bowl for me because Ava was able to come and start her first day at work for the family business. Wow. And she has options. She has her mother's company and she has my company and it's all under one umbrella. That is such a blessing. That's she beautiful. Did, she did a, um, a semester of college, mm -hmm. you know, and she decided she chose, she wants to go and start working for a family business and I was able to provide that. Right. And I know how hard I fought for that mm -hmm. and I know how good it felt. So. You want to ask Ava a question? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ava, first I have to commend you and say it's it's a big deal for you to make a big decision like that and go into the family business and do what you feel in your heart is best for you. A lot of people stick with something and it's not for them. So they get caught up in they get caught up they get caught up in pleasing other people right. and society and all this different stuff, but you know, not that school is not good or important, but yeah, we it's, have a business. School is like, we got a business. Yeah, it's like there's no better experience than actually doing doing things. But the fact that I was able to do what I've seen other cultures do, yeah. but on our terms. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, the question for? Yeah, so the question is, are you going into modeling or do you want to design? What do you want to do at this point? Um, at this point, I'm going to do a little of both. Nice. So. Good. So she, she has a big contract with uh, Elite. She Ooh, signed congratulations. Yes. But she also has a company that she could model for, so she could model for other people as an Absolutely. option. Right. But if she doesn't like it, she has her own business. Options. Options. That's what it's about. Do you hear that? Create those options. You gotta have options. But also Tallulah, I was able to have Tallulah for the last five days, nice. which is something I fought for, but she was able to come to work with me as well. Okay. So she was able to um, create a direct and, and of the bottles for okay. shampoos, for nice. mother's line, right? Yeah. And she was able to pick. Uh -oh. Come on, come on. <laughs> and then he was. She was able to pick the packaging for the shampoo. Right. So you know she's learning things on her own terms in an environment that you know it's a bubble that I fought hard for, and it was. Just worth it. was it. just realizing everything I fought for. Mm -hmm. You know, it's worth mean? it. It's worth it. And I, I, I'm just saying that for anybody. You told me that from the gate, so you know I know. I, well, you told well, me from for anybody from that's the... questioning, is it worth it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's worth the fight. Look at it. It's worth. It's worth, it. worth the fight. It's worth the fight. It, it, there's no money in the world that can explain this feeling. Yeah. Of love and yeah. the wealth that comes with that Absolutely. feeling. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm happy. I, I'm like, this is bittersweet because I've had it for the last, you know, almost a week and she's right. about to go home. Right. And, you know, I hate every time they leave, but I love yeah. you so much. I'm so proud of you. Absolutely. I'm so proud of you. Absolutely. So, Daddy loves you. Where's your, where's, your, where's your sneakers? Where's your shoes? I know. He's messing up your slippers. Wow. But Astro, it's crazy. Stop it. Astro, stop it. Stop it. But it's crazy how hard I fought. <laughs> it's crazy. Stop it. Stop, stop it. it. It's Astro. <laughs> But that's the worst of my problems is the purple puppy is biting her slippers. Yo, you know what I'm saying? that's that's the problem and that's the only problem. That's the only problem I'm having right now. So that's so, I fought hard for those problems. Right. So, you know, like I said, they're going home we're happy, but it's bittersweet. But again, it, this is the Super Bowl. This is what it's all about. And there's no feeling in the world that, that could describe it. And there's no money, there's no cost that, that's affiliated Ash. with this. It's priceless. And being cool at the same time. I see, cool. I see you got your feeler game up too. Well, you yeah, I'm feeling bit. very 80s today. Yeah, you, you know. yeah, cause you know, back in the day when you wore these, well, yeah, this meant something. This, this, this meant something. You had feelers on back in the day, you well, had these the These particular too. ones, you was getting money. Yeah. But you know, again, yeah, we get still be swagged right. out parents. And, and you rocking them, and you rocking them how catch was rocking back in the day. Well, that's how I actually Yo, rock wait a minute. Them. Yeah, that's how I used to rock them. Yeah. I, did, I had these. I, I was right. I was hitting the concrete with these, and it's, that's something they'll never have to do. Mm -hmm. But Absolutely. I looked good while I was doing it. But I know what I fought for, right. and I would do it again. Because whatever I did to get me to this point must have been right, because this feels right. Anyway, I love y'all. Love you too. Thank you. That's what's up. Love you. Tomorrow we have a. We're gonna go to you, Ava. I'm gonna call you I'll and see you about tomorrow. tomorrow. Great job. First day at work. A lot of designing. Peace. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. I'm so proud Absolutely. of her. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Bye, Daddy. Love see you. you. I love you, baby. I love you. Drive safe. You. All right, bro. Take care of that. Peace, man. Take care, bro. I'm going to call you about tomorrow. We might do a little work. Okay. Love you. Absolutely. So yeah. that right there is the real fight. That's the real fight. Well, that's the real wealth. Yeah, that's the real wealth. That's worth fighting for.
it, it definitely is worth fighting for. And what I want people to know is like, for any man, if you're challenged and someone's telling you how to act as it relates to your children, it fucks with your ego. Right. But at the end of the day, if you're being accused of doing something, it, it makes sense sometimes to have a judge or someone even observe what you're doing because then no one can ever accuse you of doing it again once you prove them wrong. Absolutely. So, you know, you remember when I was going through it, I was like, I'm all right with this because I'm going to do what's asked. And it, it's not that really hard other than my ego for someone else to tell me how I got to raise my kids. But if that's what I got to do, I'll do it. And because of that, I'm able to raise my kids unobstructed. And it's made it where life has been a lot easier for everyone in the family. Right. Like emotions run high when, you know, there's a transition of any kind. You know, whether it's your transition that you want or it's the girl or the other half. But either way, hey yo, I'm taping! Yeah. Alex! Dang. Yes. You really got me in a club. So I was bringing it to his attention and he stopped. That's why. Love you. Um, and Baba Lob was the original best out and he, you know, he, he transitioned, he got killed, got right. taken years ago. Right. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, my brotherhood means more to me than anything and I respect that. I don't give a fuck about anything else that's going on. You know, the DNA of me is the DNA of we. Everything I am came from my ideals, the fun I had and the experiences I had in that moment when we were and still are the best out. Yeah. And no matter what goes on outside of that, when we see each other, it's always the same. There's always a mutual respect and, you know, even seeing any one of us transition and 10, 20 years later, it's always gonna hurt. Right, absolutely. But at the end of the day, we've always respected our brotherhood and anything other than that to me is just, it's not all right. And I've seen that happen, but you know, but at the end of the day, celebrating his life is always good and his family and his kids, his sons, is the way his wife has held them down and, and, and done well by him. But you know, Big shout out and happy birthday to Bob Lobb. He's peace, a legend. Peace, yeah. And the thing is, like, he's in pain and fool with me. Yeah. So basically, our life was a movie, is a movie, will always be a movie. It's been documented. Our history is authentic. Mm -hmm. And I'll never, ever, never, ever not acknowledge where I'm from or the DNA of the people that protect, protected me mm -hmm. and gave me all the swag sauce, paws that I've been distributing. For decades, Absolutely. it's all because of Harlem, and, and that's Big's older brother, right? Yeah. His oldest brother. Yeah. Big's oldest brother. It was originally, you know, I knew Big's his brother, Baba La, and Big was like his little brother, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, as things evolved and, and you know, it turned into what became Rockefeller. But originally, it was like original best out was like uh, Bob and, and, and Rel, Claudie B, Kurt, Claudie B, you know, Hound, Chad. Cassie, even like Jersey Bob, and, and those are good days. Yeah. But you know, again, a lot of what people are portraying and what they talk about was a, a lot of what we were doing mm. at a time when people were scared to do it. It was authentic experience. Yeah, we authentic. didn't know anything else, you know. But um, big big shout out to Bob Love and his family and his son. I think Bob has a baby, you know, and his, his wife. Yeah, man. I mean. Um it's, it's crazy because it's like looking at you with your daughters, I have daughters, and you know, with all the recent stuff that's going on, and I know it's a, it's a touchy subject for you because you were with Aaliyah at the time of her passing, and the stuff that's going on with R. Kelly, which to me is disgusting because everybody ain't lying, and what's done in the dark always comes to light. And the problem I really have with that more than just R. Kelly is the people that were complicit enablers allowing this stuff to go on and seeing this stuff going on and didn't do anything about it. What are your feelings about that situation and, and what, what really is the big thing? With, I mean, because I know he did an album with Jay and... Okay, let me get something to smoke on. <laughs> yeah. And the mic, the mic, the, 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 it's, it's all... Oh, can I say a couple things? Yeah. Claude wants to let you know that he had all the girls. Yikes. Yeah. And... Mm. And that, um... You just stop, you just stop this thing for that nonsense. You all know that's about. And then, um... Claudie B. said, so yeah, all the girls, yeah, all the girls, that's real? Is that, is that real, though? Is that real, though? No lie, is that, is that like... Stop it. Listen, no, no, you what they say? Is that real, though? It's not hard, though. It isn't, it's Brooklyn. But you had to know how to do this. Oh, okay. That's uh, what you really it was more Brooklyn 
but you have to, a Harlem nigga that knows how to do this was a black belt. But from what you're saying, you know, I watched some of it yesterday as much as I could tolerate. And I'm not gonna lie, as a human, I was tight. Hmm. And I was tight about a couple of things. Yeah. Number one, um, there was a girl, and when she was even trying to talk about it, she couldn't. Yeah. And I remember Leah trying to talk about it, and she couldn't. You know, she just would leave it at that dude was a bad man. And I didn't really want to know what he did to the extent that I might feel the need, you know, to approach to, to, to just deal with it. Just just because that's what a man does. But it just was so much hurt for her to revisit it. It was like, I wouldn't even want to revisit it without a professional. Whatever got done was terrible. And then what bothered me was, it was like, you know, I watched John Legend like be fearless about his opinion of it, regardless to politically how it may seem. Right. But I've been, I've been tight about this shit for years. So to be honest, like, if you remember the best of both worlds, you don't see my name on that. You know what I mean? And, and... Your name is not on either album. Hell no, I never wanted no parts of that. So when Holmes was doing that shit, I was like, bro, you know our homie violated, and he violated my girl. He violated a friend of yours. So, you know, when he moved forward with that, like me, I was like, yo, let's go! I was like, yo, I don't want no parts of that. Put my part of that to, uh, to Aaliyah's breast cancer thing, you know? But then it was around the time when Jay was acting like he didn't want to really continue and move forward with all of us as partners because he didn't want bigs down because he wasn't doing nothing. And I was like, yo, bro, I can't move forward without bigs. You know, we can start something new, but like Rockefeller, you know, that's, that's, that's us. We can start Dynasty Records, but we got to maintain Rockefeller. And uh, our OG squash group from St. Kitts, Deuce. And one of the settlement was, all right, well, dog, you know, you just keep all that. Then. Fuck it, because I wasn't going to have none of that anyway. Word. But what happened was, as soon as it came out, you know, the tapes came out. So karmically, it, was, it couldn't breathe. It already destroyed. But then years later, they tried to do the tour. Um, the best of both. The best yeah, of but it still didn't work out. But you notice I wasn't a part of any of that, but, and the karma happens. But the thing I didn't understand is I was like, I know I'm not fucking with that. And because of the moral challenge and him choosing one way, I knew morally we weren't the same. So to me, Rockefeller was defunct, <coughs> it was over. Word. I couldn't fuck with it. It was something that to me was just like, not to say unforgivable, but un I couldn't understand it. You know what I'm saying? And then I didn't understand how people didn't, un I, I thought, well, then the people aren't gonna have that. But nobody said nothing. Standing by watching it and just not well, just nobody it. said nothing, but it's unconscious, because even, I remember, you know, again, we spoke about this. One time I remember you was at a concert and shit and you posted a picture and I called you. I was like, yo, bro, you know, you got daughters. That's right. And you know what that man did and I know what he did just based on what I was told. Word. And you were immediately was like, yo, you right. And what happened from there? I ain't cut him since. But the thing is, you weren't, you know, again, the, but, the but same was, way, yeah. the, like, cause, cause my version. Unconscious of it, like not well, really thinking. Well, my about version it. of that is like, no matter what I heard about Michael Jackson, I still listen to Michael Jackson. So I understand it, but I would never, I can't be, I can't support it. I can't go to it and, it just. Yeah, you can't condone and support no molestation or no but, but at the end of the day, my, but at the end of the day, my question is why does it take people so long? Why is it only because there's a documentary and that was popular and now people stepping up? This shit been going on for years and people been looking the other way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know personally what happened and people I respected look the other way. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Which to the extent I didn't have as much respect for him moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Because again, the moral fabric was compromised. Like, damn, that was my girl. Yeah. Yeah, that was shit you liked her. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we liked her as a friend. We know what that man did. It, money before a principle. Is that intentional or is it something in the air? Like, what is it? But again, I had tried to put a, put a lot of that behind me because I know the anger of addressing it, what it does, it becomes a distraction. But, you know, it's been brought up and, uh, you know, it's like, shit, John Legend had the, the courage to speak. I guess I gotta speak. So I gotta give him his props for being man enough to do that. But again, the question we all have to ask ourselves, <clears throat> me, you, all of us, 
Why is that when we know something's wrong just because of pattern or we're used to something or we enjoy, we're conveniently, you know, we look the other way, even with moral fabric <laughs> is involved. If a yeah. dollar is involved or right. if it's just convenient, right. and why does it take so much time for people to understand things? Because I've been, like I said, like, yo, I ain't really trying to have no beef with homie. You know, it wouldn't be right to take it there, but it's like, yo, he got to stay over there. <laughs> you know, I can't Stay even, on the other side. you know, just, I just, just from what I know. Right. Because whenever I would be around those dudes, he would be decent. He wasn't right. like a, you know, it was all right, but it's just, I knew too much. Yeah. So I couldn't be around. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I didn't want no parts of that bread. All money ain't good money. Hell no. Nah. So it's like. And then a lot of people, you know, like in a situation with like the, like them being children, you know what I'm saying? Young, young girls. It's crazy well, because well, they like, is, it's like, no, hold on, hold on, let me say this. Let me say this because my mother, my, my sister was in the model. And my mother would not allow them to take pictures. She wouldn't leave the room whenever she was taking pictures. She had to get a chair and sit there with her. And if it wasn't my mother, it was someone that she trusted to do the same. But we got daughters, man. Absolutely. So I'm saying, so on, the, so on the strength of that, it's also parenting that has to be involved in protecting your children. You have to protect your child, period. You know what I'm saying? You have to do whatever it takes. A 15-year-old girl does not need to be in a studio late night with a 27-year-old man. Well, look, Every I, single day. Bottom line is all I could do with that is make sure it doesn't happen with mine. Absolutely. But other but than that, still, I, I, I ain't going to judge nobody. No, nah, you, you can judge that. No, nah, nah, I, nah, I, I disagree I, with I, you on that. You can judge that because, let me let me say this, there are tons of women that are out here have been molested. Let me tell you why I'm not going to judge nobody. Molested, no, no, as far as molestation let me, let me and protecting you. your child, your child is everything. You're right. Hold I'm on, not let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. The child, protecting your, me as a parent to protect my child is everything. I will die for it. There is nothing no one can tell me when it comes to protecting my child or teaching my child. 500%, but at the end of the day. No amount of money. I don't give a damn what somebody me. of the fame of someone. Let me, let me finish. The fame of anyone. These parents enable R. Kelly and these people involved. Like, for instance, let me just say these this. cousins and these I gotta bodyguards stop right just do me a favor. Just allowed this me. to happen. They saw it and turned the other way. Let me say something, Kenyatta. Yeah. I love Aaliyah more than anything. She loves Absolutely. her parents more than anything. So Absolutely. And one thing I'm not going to do is ever make her or her legacy or her parents feel uncomfortable. So it's some things that I just can't address. Okay. You know what I'm saying just out of respect for her. No, no, I got, I got so it. So I got to no, leave it at that. But so even, I don't even want to be a part of that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah, I can't because at the end of the day, Aaliyah wouldn't want that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's all I care about. Whatever I feel personally, I got to put the people that I love before that. And I know what she would love and what she would want. She wouldn't want that. Well, so even yeah. if it's right or wrong, that's not for us to do well, because of, of how I, I feel. I, about okay, I respect that. But this is one thing I have to say as parents. We have to protect our children. That's true. Period. So we like, that's not so that's then, not against so, anyone. So that's then, all of us. So moving forward, instead yeah. of dwelling on the past, let's dwell on the future. Mm. Never leave your daughter around a man. Bingo. There you go. That's Period. what I'm saying. Never Absolutely. leave your daughter. Around a man. <laughs> Absolutely. And I got daughters yeah. down to today. Um, the the this, this couch here, which I designed. Off the chain. They were delivering. The fabric it. is crazy too, by the way. It's uh, but, yeah. but look, they were delivering it, and there oh. were men in the house. Mm. And Tallulah had to go to a play date. Okay. And I was like, she was, and she had just told me about the play date. Like right. I forgot to tell you, I got eleven o'clock. I'm like, well, mm. we'll work it out. But um, there were men in the house. So and your instincts kicked in finish. as a man. And yeah. I wasn't gonna leave Raquel alone. Mm -hmm. And I had to explain that. Mm -hmm. I said, there's men in the house. Mm -hmm. And I would never leave you alone with men. I'm definitely not going to leave Raquel alone I'm with any men. You. And if you're ever with a man that does that, mm -hmm. you need to leave him. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. So what I've learned from all these things, and what I think people have to understand is sometimes, even in the Bible, Jesus sacrificed for what he considered all his children. Mm -hmm. So he went through pain so the people he loved wouldn't have to go through as much. So our pain that we go through is so that we know how to love. There is no recognition of love without the recognition of pain because what can you compare it to? Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So sometimes you need these tragic things. So the masses, hmm. some angel sometimes needs, not to say it's good and yeah. I wish it wasn't mine, yeah. but sometimes there's some sacrifice so that the people you love moving forward can evolve and yeah. don't have to have the same struggle. Because it's dope that people are speaking up. Well, you know, the fact the that this is happening yeah. will, will be inexcusable for anyone aware of it to ever leave their child alone. Yeah. 
be, but regardless of fame, singing, or anything. Absolutely. So we're gonna learn from that. You gotta learn from it. And that's the reason why I show people every day that the wealth is in the life you live with your children and how protected they are, mm -hmm. and that they should never have the same problems as you, including the problem of choosing a parent. Yeah. Because I tend to try to um, rewind and think about the things that bothered me the most as a child. And what bothered me the most as a child was having to be choosing a parent, hearing my mom talk bad about my dad, yeah. hearing my dad talk back about my mom. Yeah. If I, if there was a Santa Claus and I could ask for anything, me, mm -hmm. at that age, right. fuck a toy, fuck money. For your parents. I would have just wished that my parents uh, could have got along. Yeah. So we have to be conscious of any cycle and any pattern that we are accustomed to that yes. we don't want our children to be accustomed to, yeah, right. including the things that bother us. So if you can't stand your other half, all that matters is how that affects your child. So you yeah. have to stand your other half. That's the only thing Despite that matters. Despite <laughs> what your other half is doing to yeah. you, man or woman, yeah. it's what makes your child happy. And if you had to feel some pain to know that you don't want your child to feel that same pain, mm -hmm. then that means it was a blessing. Because yeah. your angel doesn't have to feel that. So I know everything I don't want my children to feel based on yeah. what I felt. So I'm glad I got to learn my way yeah. and I can sustain that pain so that they will never have to. So sometimes you have to embrace that pain and understand it's a learning experience. Yeah. And I'm not saying it justifies anything and that person should be made an example of, yeah. whoever it is. Because the main thing is, he's a pedophile. Well, whoever it is, yeah. whatever, whoever is disrespecting a child, an angel, a pure soul, mm -hmm. they need to be stopped and they need to be made an example of so people know exactly what the signs are right. so that it doesn't happen again. See, what happens is because someone's singing good music, because someone's saying things that <laughs> like sound good, boondocks. <laughs> sometimes people tend to say, fuck what they're doing, I'm yeah. only going to yeah. actually um, subscribe to what they're saying yeah. and give them a pass because of that. Right. You know, you have to be able to, and the strength in the test is if you can break that pattern and be uncomfortable and do what everyone else is not doing to do what's right. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, whatever he... And whatever happened to that individual that's made them hurt other people unconsciously or consciously where they just don't even care, mm -hmm. it must have been really dark and that person yeah. must be in some pain. But it still doesn't excuse the collateral it damage. Yeah. They still got to get up out of here. I so agree. I do think it's time for us to take responsibility for empowering and looking the other way all those years. It should not have taken a documentary for people to get consciousness. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that kind of... Because you know, anytime I, like, I talk to you about that situation, you never, you were just, you just always, it, it, you turned you dark. I'm, you turned dark every time I asked you about it. Because you, you didn't really want to, you didn't really ever want to go situation that yeah. I don't want my ego to get. Way before the documentary. I know that for a fact. So Put it like this. I remember one time Rocky and I were sitting with a friend of ours, a girl. She was like, you heard the new R. Kelly <laughs> record? And Rocky said, dang, don't fuck with R. Kelly. And lightning struck the second she said it. And then there was like a, a, a person we called the Angel Whisperer, and they referenced that, that that was a sign from Aaliyah, not knowing that that had ever happened. Mm. It was crazy. So Aaliyah's strong, she's powerful, her energy is pure, and she's with me all the time. She protects me. I know that she was one of the people that put the detour on my fire. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Because when no one was looking, I treated her how she deserved to be treated. And I saw that, and it's funny, I saw that last night in the movie, they kind of portrayed you as such. Well, it wasn't it's nothing just, else but that. It yeah. wasn't no downside time with her. We never had that dark moment, other than when we had to separate for us to work. But, yeah, something like that, it definitely stirs up a lot of emotion and memories. Did you listen to the best of both worlds? Did you listen to those albums? Yeah. Back then, you didn't even like... I ain't fucking... Oh. Right. Only thing I heard was it the, came on Rocket You ain't even listened to it. That's how deep it was for you. No, I haven't heard those records. Damn. I heard the record, the intro, because he referenced Aaliyah. But other than again, I, I, just, I think from that moment everything changed because I knew morally we were going different directions. So even at the concert, you wouldn't even try to go. I never went to that none of that shit. Wow. No. Never knew that. I mean, you did know it. I wasn't there. <laughs> you would have known it. That 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 project probably would have done well if I was a part of it. But I could I just couldn't out of respect for her. But again, it was something where I was like, you know, I think Rockefeller might be over because it doesn't re represent the same thing for homie that it represented for me. You know, moral fabric and love means more than anything in respect. And it just hurt me that 
he could still move forward knowing how much I cared about her, but he knew her. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he knew, you know, morally how crazy that was. So I was just like, damn, it ain't really about the money with me. Hmm. I'm not gonna say that was the main thing, but that was definitely one of the elements where it was, it was, it was, cause, cause you gotta remember the energy Rockefeller had. You know, it was Kanye, Jay-Z, yeah. Cameron, Beanie Siegel, State Property, Dipset, mm -hmm. um, you know, fucking MOP. We weren't struggling. We had movies, we had we had music, we had clothes. Yeah. But you know, once that, that spirit that I was pushing wasn't there no more, once I walked away from the steering wheel, you know, history could speak. I ain't gotta say nothing. It ain't really no more Rockefeller, but the memory of it. So basically, that was like the real moment when you knew it was over. It was done. It was just when I knew we was different. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I you just know, not living by the same morals and standards on that level, as far as that goes. Yeah. That I, makes I, sense. I can say this: it broke my heart. It definitely broke my heart. You know, and I couldn't be a part of that. Well, you know, it is what it is. But um, that's just naturally how I feel in this moment. You know, and you asking yeah. me, that's how I'm expressing yeah. myself honestly. Right. And um. You know, seeing that definitely, it definitely brought back memories of the whole situation and a lot of things that happened and why they happened and how I was feeling in that moment, my expectation of people. Cause I really expected people to be like, damn, how you, I, like I ain't gotta say nothing. Everyone else gonna say something. Mm -hmm. And nobody said nothing. Cause you and understand that shit bugged me out. Too. You yeah, understand, but like, you're I understand it, but my anyway. thing is my expectation was right. that other people understood it. But people looked the other way. This is 10 years later, bro. This ain't yesterday. Why is it just now people getting conscious? I've been feeling this way. It's another example of a I told you so situation. But what does it take for people to, to, to really... It it's like when it's popular, that's when people will jump on that bandwagon. I'm not saying that people are now. I mean, they got conscious. But definitely, there's responsibility in everyone that Absolutely. still bought a record and still went to a concert right. after they knew what was going on. Here's a here. documentary doesn't make it where you're like exempt. It, I mean, I know if people were unconscious, cool, mm -hmm. but now that you're conscious, what y'all gonna do now? What you gonna do? What y'all gonna do now? And I found them, they were saying that the little girl, she wasn't 14, she was 12. That's disgusting, man. She was 12. Like I said, I Everybody got daughters. Like 14, yeah, but I don't care how 12, good the 14. music is, I can't fuck with her. Yeah. So, so from this point, do you plan on doing a story about like a love story about you and Aaliyah? Or do you plan on doing something about that? Nigga. Well, you know. Cause you've been talking about you. There's some announcements. Like I'll just say this. There's some announcements that are gonna be made on ma major platforms. And this is definitely gonna, our love will definitely go down in history you the right pick, way. You gonna pick the actor? I didn't even say what's going on. I you said just, there's some vague announcements. <laughs> you're not gonna play yourself with it. Like this, don't you? <laughs> well, I definitely have a role that for you. Oh, are you gonna act? Stop! No, I'm not. What, what type of role? First, what? an acting role. Yeah, about, a, yeah, about yeah. a character. What character, though? <laughs> I'll say that. Come on, man. What character? We don't yeah. want to tell everybody. Yeah, no, no, not right now. Not right now. Yeah, not right now. But you ready to act? Absolutely. What's happening? This is the big homie Kenyatta. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube page. And if you haven't already, hit the notification so you can get an alert each and every time our hip hop motivation videos come up. And also, thank you for your support. Peace and blessings. to truly fit the whole mistake. Peace. So when you think, imagine I am a genie, you begin to imagine the great possibilities in your life and then the universe begins to operate on your imagination and carrying you to places that way 
faster and further than you could go if you tried to get all the knowledge first. You see, a lot of times people will say, they'll, they'll, they'll put a delay tactic on themselves. They'll say, well, I don't really know anything about that. I really don't know how to do that, so I'm not going to do anything. But what if you sat and imagined that you did know? What if you imagined of the possibility in your life of what your life would be like if you were operating at a higher level? Your imagination then begins to activate a certain energy within you, a certain feeling. And that feeling then opens doors, and it opens doors, and then you start getting the knowledge. So imagination, as, as Einstein indicated, is oftentimes greater than having knowledge. If we could arrange our lives so that our thought process, when things happened to us, we did not curse the wind that brought the obstacle, but bless the wind that brought the obstacle, realizing that that obstacle gave us another opportunity to perfect our character. If we believed that, if we understood that, then all things that came to us, that might be a problem, that might be a challenge, that might be something we don't want to go through, would only be a test as opposed to a problem. Problems are not bad. That's why we have to solve problems. And in the solving of the problem, you get closer to your destiny. So we have to start to change the way we think and the way we say what we say, because if we don't, then problems will hold us back as opposed to being guideposts and signposts that we're on the right track. The way I see it, it's always a test. Anything quick is a test. But my mindset tells me I can still get it quick and I don't have to cheat. But I have to cheat to get it fast? I don't really want it. I'd rather wait. I've learned over the years that with anything, you have to be patient. Not five months patient, but five years or more patient. Now, if you can get 10 years patient, you can build an even stronger foundation, and that creates legacy. Empires were not built overnight. I always tell people that the Great Wall of China was a 2,000 year old plan. 2,000 years. Think about how many lifetime that is on one plan. Getting people to move similarly with the same exact agenda for lifetimes, for generations. That's crazy. You have to be patient when you want to do something significant, no matter what it is. And a lot of times that means not reaping the benefits of your goal immediately. And that's the test. Listen, for mad years I walked around with my neck looking like a Nestle Crunch Bar. I had to do something about it. What I found is that a razor bump is nothing but an ingrown hair that curls into the skin and causes the skin to become enlarged or inflamed making it look like a bump but it's not a pimple it's a hair that grows into the skin causing inflammation you have to remove that hair and then you have to use yourself a nice skin astringent something that can do the trick something that can get rid of those razor bumps so what did i create bump assassin organic skin astringent to order your own bottle of bump assassin go to hip-hop motivation dot big cartel dot com Dash thing. Now I don't want to chill out, bro. You know what I want to do? Believe in yourself. Build your own personal wealth. And then that becomes personal health. I think I'm rhyming. How about that? Everything go down here. Just gotta know what I mean. Be a little smart. I was thinking about something. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm a musician. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. Hey,
I just spent all kinds of money. Like the dollar, like the euro, like the pound, like the franc pause, like the yen. 